and we've been doing it in the community for the last four years with great participation. Uh, we've had just over 1,300 participants, so that's pretty exciting. This year being the fifth annual year, we're hoping for 500 to uh, come on out and join it. The Wellness Challenge is where you can join up with friends, family, it could be uh, at work with colleagues, make a team and with that team you're going to keep track of daily wellness points. Habit building is a good part of it. Um, I, you know, in the past, I believe it's only gone for about a month or six weeks, and even in that time, you know, if you're sticking to the requirements of the challenge, I've found that what I come away with from it is just having, you know, um, laid the base for good habits, right, that you're going to carry on even after the challenge. You know, we all have high hopes in January to have New Year's resolutions, and often they're around health and wellness, not always. But I think statistics show that after that first week, by week two, you're kind of going back into old habits. So that's why we kind of start the middle of January. I don't know, call it corny, but just the motivation of having a little one too. It's almost, uh, part of it for me is almost wanting to set a good example for, uh, you know, for my daughter too. Um, but just being physically fit enough to keep up with their, you know, pace and activity. Um, I just, I, it's a deliberate decision on my part for sure to follow through with it and um, you know just to make sure that uh, I'm taking care of myself as best I can so that I can you know be there for, for her. Some uh, organizations will have more than one team in their workplace and then they can challenge each other. So lots of fun.